Hi everybody! Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective for whoever, whenever, wherever. I hope you guys are having an absolutely beautiful day. Um, today we're going to start the reading off with the 144 hertz. Um, they're cutting cement um, outside and I really hope that you guys can't hear it but if you do hear any kind of like jostling in the background that's where that is coming from and there's nothing I can do about it they've been starting early in the morning and ending pretty late in the evening so we're just gonna bear with it it's the sound of spring <sighs> construction <laughs> relevant what are we constructing and keep in mind that it can be messy and sometimes loud all right let's let's tune in 144 a good one all right so we're gonna pull from the um Cyril Marchetti oracles of the visions to get a theme for the day I've got our trusty last unicorn cards maybe pull some kipper at the end we'll pull a rune spirit ancestors guys what do we have for the collective today what is it that you would like us to know too and this is about actually about a farewell and fitting in let's just see so this card is about fitting in we kind of blend right we want to we we have our differences from the groups that we um are included in or that we include ourselves in or even that we run with but what we do is we adapt right so um this is like kind of like she's dressing for the occasion right um she's blending in with these uh cranes right and then this is about a uh messages and it's generally about a farewell so maybe um i i kind of with the themes that have been happening lately and i just saw 222 i really felt like we are saying goodbye to um maybe a persona right within ourselves let's see number two belonging acceptance assimilation the primary joy of life is acceptance approval the sense of appreciation and companionship of our human comrades our sense of belonging and acceptance by others requires affirmation peer recognition and acceptance is a compelling motivation and reward for our participation to that aim, we may have to demonstrate, to some degree, our allegiance. Some communicate their allegiance and commitment through body marking. Others, more transient expressions such as dress code and fashion, and still others by their conduct or mannerisms. Whatever the form, all are variations of the same basic objective, namely confirmation that I am this and I belong. And in turn, you are this and we accept you. The flamboyantly coiffed female modifies her appearance with the disguise in order to assimilate. The masked beak transforms her visual persona and her poise as a me and means of posture um, further confirm her spiritual transformation. She is at one with those she has joined. In her enthusiasm and desire for acceptance, Ooh, in our enthusiasm and desire for acceptance. We must be careful to stay true to ourselves. Are we really comfortable with the me we are claiming to be? Or is it strained or forced and ultimately unsustainable? Right? Assimilation. Right, and there's my Star Trek. So resistance is futile. You will be assimilated. If you hang out long enough in a certain environment with a certain group of people, doesn't matter who they are, right? But you just hanging out, you will you will absorb some of that collective persona, right? In order to maintain your per, uh, participation in that group or mindset, right? Whatever this, take it how it resonates, right? You, we we have to f fit in. All right, we might be saying goodbye to that. We might be um, letting go of that idea because we have this farewell card. 
farewell goodbye closures. Forever and forever, farewell, Cassius. If we do not meet again, why? We shall smile. If not, why then this parting was made well? William Shakespeare. This card portrays a farewell, which might be a final parting or a temporary goodbye. A tragic loss or simply a turned page could be leading to a new future. The woman's somber expression gives us a clue as to the current, uh, as to the content of her envelope. But I did say current. Take that how it resonates, right? A farewell message, yes, but one received or to be given. The rose suggests possible lover's separation, but it is a final. Is it a final goodbye or a temporary one? Until next time. Either way. As any airport scene will demonstrate, departure lounges tend to be sadder than arrivals. The birds flying in the background suggest that a return is in the future. Our lives are in a constant state of flow of farewells to people, places, and things, some with regret, but some with enthusiasm as they are replaced with new options. Oh. So to get these two cards together, right and all of the bird symbolism and all of the feathers it's about um communication right and the persona and how are we communicating and how are we accepted and what types of communication are we accepting and what are we saying goodbye to and who are we saying goodbye to and that might be an inside job who are we saying goodbye to on the inside our former selves right that's okay we all grow We've been many incarnations of ourselves throughout this particular lifetime, but this particular walk. And each time we've grown out of our shell, we've had to realign, right? And it might be that time where we're really understanding that the masks need to come off now. All right. In order for us to grow. I can't help too, but all this red. This is really passionate. There's a lot of love here. Yes, it could be with a lover, but um, it... it is more than that it's something that we love or that we have been um, had an intimate exchange with and that doesn't mean necessarily on the physical right that could be like a mental you know intimacy that could be the intimacy within ourselves to actually be gentle and vulnerable with ourselves and say hey look you know who's under that mask and then when we peer into it we see that it's beautiful you are beautiful you don't need no mask all right spirits get some tarot for the day we get the five of coins and this deck is all facing one way so we're going to read it on the upright and that's exactly what the five of coins is about right it's that it's supposed to be that being left out in the cold card and maybe we are being left out or maybe we're leaving some people out but either way whenever i see this card i think no matter what deck it comes out of i think of a room that i don't really want to be in anyway right? We only sit at tables we're welcome at. Don't invite yourself to a table and don't lament not being at someone else's if you weren't invited there. That's okay. Not everyone should be welcome at your table either. And that could be what this is about, you know, where, where we fit in. She's got all these boxes. There's a clock. What option do we choose? It's like what is open to us and what is closed, what is available to us. Let's see. Let's get some more Ten of coins. Because why would we stay with the five when we have the ten available, when we could be getting the ten? And look at how she's staring at them. Over there lamenting. Stop lamenting. Go after your ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles is long-lasting, right? That's the legacy card. That's what we pass on to others or what has been passed on to us, right? And it's time to leave a place behind. Like I said, like these are pentacles. This is talking about the real, real. If this is a job, right, let it go. Better is coming for you in the future. Take off that mask. Be happy about who you are and where you are going. And it's okay to say goodbye to what we're leaving because it's time. We've definitely outgrown it. We're seeing who we really are. What, what the legacy is that we're leaving behind. Two cards came out in my hand and one came out in the deck like this. And on the bottom overarching energy we're just going to say it right now six of swords 
moving to calmer waters, leaving behind the stress. And look at that with assistance. With assistance, we have people going that love us. We have circumstances, thoughts, helpful things and folks around us who want to see us elevate and move forward. Because here we get the Ace of Coins and the Eight of Swords. Can we just say three? We have five cards out. Seriously, four out and one on the bottom and three out. The Ace of Coins, the Ten of Coins, the Five of Coins. And here we got that Eight of Swords. Because we're all trapped up in our head about it. How do I go? How do I go from feeling left out to something that is whole, holistic, and forever? With me included and me at the base, you included, you at the base. You are capable and ready, right? And you have what's needed. There might be something given to you. We might be receiving a gift, right? Because we decided that we weren't going to stay where we didn't belong. And so an offer comes in and we're a little scared because it isn't a very big one. It's just a little bit. It could be a little gift. It could be um, a lead. A lead on a I heard a lead on a place. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're looking for something new, somewhere new to operate your business from, right? A new community, a new place to exercise. I heard exercise. We are talking about the physical self here, you know? It's okay to move forward. It's okay to move forward. And the one that jumped out, that was like poking out like this, two of swords. Feeling blocked, feeling stuck, not being able to see which way to go. Both options might seem the same because you don't have enough information about which way to go. Maybe that's why you're all trapped up in your head about it. What you need to think about is the real real the real real page of pent or ace of pentacles here ten of pentacles how does changing your mindset how does leaving the worry behind and starting so when we leave the worry behind what we do is we change our focal point right so if i'm over here and i'm looking at the worry and i'm not paying any attention behind us i don't know that there's this beautiful path that i could take me this is the this is the van gogh the chapel at arles Right? And there they are walking down the path right there. It's available to you. It's available to you if you could just turn around and see it. If you could just reach out and grab it. Right? And that's what is available to you today. And it's only available to you if you take off the mask and are willing to say goodbye and leave behind the things that um, you're faking it. Right? Fake it to make it? Absolutely not. I mean, fake it to make it. It just seems the most disingenuous thing ever, and I understand the benefit of it. And sometimes, yes, we're gonna we're gonna put on a smile and we're gonna go out there and we're gonna be okay. But if you're faking it till you make it on the inside, you're never gonna make it to the inside. There has to be a vulnerability. There has to be an honesty, and that doesn't. I'm not saying we need to open up to just everybody. You know, sometimes people. Okay, we'll get into that in a minute. Maybe we won't. But um, the things that we tell others, that we open up to others about right um matter and we're only able to open up as much with our with others as we have been able to with ourselves and if we are having to pretend to be something else or someone else to fit in to a category or to sit in a room then that isn't doing anybody any favors at least not ourselves, at least not our future, at least not our family and those that matter in the long run Right? We have to be honest with ourselves in order to be able to move forward and when we're, we're and see, get past those blockages. Take that blindfold off. It's self-imposed mind prison. So instead of looking at that focal point of worry, we're going to turn around and we're going to look at that focal point of goal, of dream, of achievable um, steps. And we're going to start moving toward it. And as we do that things will start to build and those worries those particular worries will get further and further behind us with each step i don't know where that was going now it says 1444 all right mind body spirit we get the in the 10th house 
responsibility, success, become a person of power and status. It's available to you now. Look, Saturn, be realistic about it. That's exactly what we were just saying. 1515. 15, 15. Be 1515. 15. That is the number of the devil card. The devil card is ruled by Saturn. Here is Saturn right here. That is a that is a powerful message. Be realistic about it. Okay. Be concerned about it. Be concerned about the right things. All right, don't worry about things you can't control or change. Be concerned about things that you can handle, deal with, and that will make a difference, right? And um, you must wait before you can. It's not going to just come to you overnight. It's not going to happen right away. Well, you must wait before you can. There has to be this transition period. Be realistic about it. What can you do now? What can be done today? Right? The easiest thing to do today, right now, immediately, is to change your focus. Look this way instead, okay? Because now we have the ninth house. As if it all, <laughs> as if it or they came from all there is. Oh, this is the ninth house, Sagittarius, right? Um, the philosophies and laws involved and do it in a big way. Wow. So this is like... The tenth house and Saturn. Saturn rules the tenth house. This has to end. All this coins, okay? This has to do with our work. This has to do with the real, real. This has to do with our longevity, our career, maybe what we leave, wait for our for our future ascendance, descendants. So, if these are our descendants, does that mean that we've ascended right beyond? So, and that's here's that. Jupiter, uh, Jupiterian, Jovian energy, right, of, of Sagittarius, that expansive, like as if it came from all there is, like, from everything, as if you did, as if you came from all there is, that's mighty big of ya, mm -hmm. let's be realistic about it, and focus it towards our success, and it comes first things first, from being real, Take the mask off. Get real. All right. We're going to get a few tea leaf cards, and then we'll pull a rune and close this up. It's getting a little bit long, but I do want to get a little bit of... Can we get a little bit of specific information? Um, take it as you will. This is a general reading. Can we get a little bit of messages about what this is about? Clues to help collective on their way. What would you like? Oh, nothing is happening. Let's see. Universe, ancestors, what would you like the collective to know? Then they all started pouring out. Harp. Great happiness. Great happiness. The bowl. Plenty of material things. Ten of pentacles. Spear. Heart ache over what you no longer have these two came out together and then okay so heartache over what you no longer have because yes it's sad to have to leave something behind yes it's sad to feel like you're left out in the cold yes those feelings are those feelings are negative feelings that are catalysts that's a spear let it launch you into this is tower but this is a good tower because it says solid foundation and success with effort which Saturn will gift you if you work with them. Okay. Anything else that you... This is just beautiful. I love this. Anything else that you'd like us to know? Sunrise just popped out. Wow. Sunrise. New creative ideas. New ventures. A fresh start. Get going. Ace of Pentacles. Boom. Get going. Butterfly. A change for the better need I say more all right disappointment in some affair the scissors really need to cut it out go ahead and cut that off cut that out cut the cut the strings take the mask off it's okay it's okay and then throne position of authority you are in charge you are absolutely in charge this is I mean I don't even know I don't even know uh, what else to add to that 
I think that that's pretty concise and perfect. Thank you, Saturn. Thank you, Jupiter. Thank you, Spirit. Can we have a rune message to close this beautiful reading? We're on our way. We're seeing it clearly. We are authentic and genuine. And we get Nahuas. You guys, Nahuas is about defense. Right? It's the badger. And we might be needing to... Um, Constraint, necessity, pain. Because what, what would a Saturnian reading be like if we didn't talk about a little bit of constraint and necessity, okay? Um, as a part of the cycle of self-transformation, Nathas is a great teacher, disguised as a bringer of pain and, and limitation. It has been said that only at the point of greatest darkness do we become aware of the light within us by which we come to recognize the true creative power of the self. When something within us is disowned, that which is disowned wreaks havoc. A cleansing is required here. In, under, in an undertaking, it will... In undertaking it, you fund a will and strengthen character. Wow. Okay, I'm going to read that again. And it said 2121 when I looked up, right? A cleansing is required here. In undertaking it, you will fund a will and strengthen character. Begin with what is most difficult and proceed to what is easy. Remember that suffering in its original sense meant undergoing. Thus, you are required to undergo the dark side of your passage, to control your anger, to restrain your impulses, to keep your faith firm at this time is an issue here. Modesty and good temper are essential. All right, so don't, this is a warning and this is telling us that what is not a, this is, it's a warning to us of ourselves. Don't get, don't get angry about it. Okay, and uh, that I, I felt like that feeling of when you're when you're claustrophobic and you just want to get out, you know, that ah, feeling when that when you feel that this is a reminder. <sighs> breathe 22, 22. Just breathe. Remember where your center is. I always ask myself when I feel like that, where are my feet? Where are my feet? Oh, my feet are right here. Okay, good. You know, all right. I am right here with my feet. Now I'm back in the room. All right. And it works like a like a charm every time because this is a lot of um, change. And it's a lot of vulnerability and it's a lot of growth and strength within self. And in order to get honest, we must acknowledge what is what is necessary. What is a necessity? Where are we restricted? Where are we constricted? Be realistic about that. Be realistic about that. Right? And how do we work our goals within that constriction in order to open pathways to re it, be free, right? To get out there and be into the bigger, bigger world, right? A, become a person of status. You know what I'm saying? It's because this one's upside down. So I was like, that's not what it's. <laughs> All right. Be realistic about it. And be concerned about what's real, all right? Because that's what's in the material world, and you must wait. So patience is patience is going to be required here, so that um, you can do it in a big way. All right, you're in charge. All right, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and thanks for coming back and seeing me again next time.